Shalom brothers and sisters. I, I've covered this a lot on this channel. It's very close to my heart. It's high on my prayer list of things that I pray for and lay before the throne of God. And that is the thing that is very precious to him, the martyrs and those who are suffering for his name's sake across the world right now. And I've said it many times before, just because you personally might not be experiencing this doesn't mean that the body of Christ is not experiencing this right now at unprecedented levels worldwide and they need prayer and support from us. Iran sentences Christian converts to more than 25 years in prison. Five converts to Christianity have been sentenced by the Iranian judiciary to a collective of more than 25 years in prison, according to a report from Iran International. Hengor, an organization reporting on human rights violations against Kurds in Iran, stated there has been no reason given for the charges against the five Christians. Hamid Afzali was sentenced to 10 years behind bars, followed by Nasrullah Musavi, Bijan Golizadeh and Iman Zalehi, each of whom was sentenced to five years, and Zorab Shabazi, who received a nine-month jail sentence, according to the Jerusalem Post. In a statement to CBN News, Todd Nettleton, vice president of Message for the Voice of the Martyrs, said the growth of the church in Iran is wonderful news for Christians around the world and a great reminder of God's ability to grow his church in spite of anything that the government might do to stop it. But the high price our Iranian brothers and sisters are paying to follow Christ is a different kind of reminder to pray often for them as they willingly suffer for the name of Christ, he added. The report from Engel noted that while Christians are acknowledged as a religious minority in Iran, authorities impose severe penalties, especially on those who convert from Islam to Christianity. In addition to these five Christian arrests, Engel noted that another recent Christian convert in Iran, Yassin Musavi, has been sentenced to 15 years in prison. For charges including, are you ready for this, membership in groups or associations aimed at disrupting security, propaganda against the government through promoting Christianity. It's real. <clears throat> it's insanely intense at the moment. It's growing by the day. Places like Iran, other Muslim countries, North Korea, there is a massive hunger and growth in the church and the body of Christ happening right now as the Holy Spirit's at work. We are actively involved in getting Bibles and food <clears throat> and support sorry, into these countries as part of this ministry, as part of other ministries. It is our focus. We are praying for these brothers and sisters because the Lord is at work and the devil is angry. In this case of Iran and North Korea, where they've been locked up in other countries, we are praying that God raises up believers like Paul and Silas in these moments. Go and read those situations in your own Bible, how they handled themselves, how they carried themselves as believers, how they were strengthened by God, how when they were given opportunities to escape, they stayed and in the process, witnessed to the lives of their jailers and led them and their families to Jesus Christ. Pray for more of that power and that strength and the presence of the Holy Spirit in their lives. That it will flow even in the prison system. That it will touch even the most strongly rooted Muslims that are against them. To see the light of Jesus Christ in their lives and desire what they have for themselves. And that that movement will keep growing in strength. In Jesus' name.